friends so today what we are going to do is uh, we are going to draw a narwhal okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need crayons we need watercolor we need half a sheet of paper i have a small bottle cap it's like can fit three of my fingers in okay um if you don't have one this size, you can draw a circle that can fit three fingers, okay? You can draw a circle freehand. Um, I also have my pencil and my eraser. Because it's watercolor that we are using, we need some water to paint with. So, uh, the reason why we are drawing now all, no, there should not be any reason, right? It took us a beautiful um, veil and anyone can draw this any time of the year but um this week um, april 22nd is considered earth day and i thought uh, let's focus on things that are endangered endangered you mean means are in danger of becoming extinct okay so now all is not right now uh, in danger but um it is um is threatened near threatened it is what um uh, they say it is um, in the uh, almost in a near threatened stage where it may become soon become endangered and then soon extinct there will not be any narwhals in the world if we don't pay attention right now okay so I thought, uh, let's focus on those things. So narwhal, have you heard of narwhal? Let me. Narwhal is a medium sized toothed whale. Okay, there are whale that are like very big whales uh, there are small whales but this is a medium sized whale it has a uh, teeth okay uh, or tooth i could say we should say and it has a large tusk tusk you know what a tusk is like tusk of a um elephant so it has a large tusk it is actually its canine tooth that is protruding out okay where do these um, narwhals live? They live um, near Arctic waters around Greenland, Canada and Russia. Okay. So that is where they live. And why, what is happening to them? Why are they uh, threatened? Um, by, are, why are they near threatened or um, why are they soon going to be an endangered species or endangered uh, thing? Why? Um, one is um, this, um, these um, narwhals are, people ca catch narwhals, okay, um, for their meat and ivory, okay. That is one reason maybe. And another reason maybe uh, is because um, the ice, the natural ice cover that is over the uh, Arctic Ocean, uh, Arctic, the Canadian Arctic is decreasing. With the decrease in the ice cover, the thickness, um, uh, ice cover thickness is one main reason it is becoming threatened. Okay, so they need that uh, ice to live. They need that cold um, temperature uh, to live. So because of uh, the uh, rapid climate change um, in the Canadian Arctic, which is decreasing the ice cover, this um, now war is getting extinct. So a uh, what, uh, what re uh, uh, causes climate change there are many things um, that we do causes climate change and there are many things that we can do to uh, help reduce the climate change what i 
will do is if we sit and talk about that it will take a long time to finish this lesson so uh, towards the end of the video maybe i'll put um um reasons how, by which we can help stop climate change okay and help the uh, narwhals and all other animals that live on earth any other earth so first thing uh, i'll quickly show it on over here and then we can um, draw it on the paper so as i said we are going to use something to draw a circle with i'm not going to use this one uh, because this is um, the paper is smaller so i'll be using that there. here i'm going to use the bigger one okay so before that now what is our um, they have this task right so i'm going to start with the task so like giving some space on this side but there is more space on this side the body and the tail everything is all going to be on this side so a upside down v connect it with a curvy line now you can put the circle in such a way that it is um, almost on top of the um the tusk so see and out when you draw don't go over the task okay and then next thing we're going to do is i'm going to erase of this part this much and i'm going to make a u okay this i'm going to continue maybe a little bit more we'll erase off and then we will make the whale's tail like that so far so good now like this like that and like that now let's draw the fin here okay now like that the bottom the belly part is a different color so we're going to make it like that um this is going to be a cute uh one so we're going to make the eyes look cute okay and the mouth also cute drawing this is super easy right and then maybe we can add some small circles in different sizes like that so that's all the drawing Okay, so let's put this thing away and let's take the paper. Where's my pencil? <laughs> let's take the pencil. Um, it's up to you how you want to put the, um, let me close these tabs, uh, put the paper. If you want the paper to be this way, you can put it this way. Maybe I'll put it this way. Okay. So I'm going to start with the uh, the task or the so I'm like leaving like one or two finger space on this side and I'm drawing the and on top three fingers. I need this much space on the bottom. Maybe so focus one more second. Let me show you. We are going to draw the task, right? So let's put two fingers over here and put a dot here two fingers two finger space from either side so two fingers here and two fingers from the top okay and then from here from this point i'm going to make a make the task okay a little bit more it's like a slim v and then connect it with the a curvy line and then um, so this finishes here I'm putting this over here I'm going to make a circle in case you traced over the task erase that part off okay now let's So let's erase this part to draw the tail. Make a 
make a U and from here I'm making a line up like that two curvy lines you know was a body is done um if we have used the bigger one I think we could have still made the now wall big now wall in this hmm. this one is like could have fit four fingers now because we use the smaller one or we'll have a small now wall baby now wall okay it is fine I'm going to draw the fin it's like a curvy V and then the bottom belly let's draw um, one more fin on this side forgot that last time the fin on the other side let's draw the eyes the mouth okay I'm going to take my marker black marker so you guys can <clears throat> outline this with your uh, black crayon okay if you have a sharpie of course you can use a sharpie because we are going to paint um with watercolor if you use the sharpie it will be fine but if you use um, a normal marker it is going to spread So this inside the circle there is that line that we that you can erase off. How cute is this now wall? Maybe we can make curvy lines on his tusk or teeth. I'm going to erase this. Uh, if you use, um, what is it called? Permanent marker, you can erase. Otherwise, please don't erase because it's going to spread out. Yeah. Mm. I'm making some small circles in different size. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to draw some plantation under the water. So for that, different V's in different direction or I'm going to draw some in the back also to show depth. Okay. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take our crayon. We're going to take white crayon first. Okay, so we're going to take white. I'm going to go over the rest of the eyes. Then these um, circles, I'm going to fill it with white. The belly, this part is white. I'm going to go over this with white. Um, the reason why we are coloring with white right now is when we put water, otherwise um, it will turn blue, that part. So we don't want that part to be blue. I'm putting white. You may not be able to see, but once we paint it, you'll be able to see. Okay. Uh, I'm going to <clears throat> make some lines for the water. So, how I'm doing that is I'm just adding lines like that with white. Okay. Uh, if you want, we can also add some bubbles like that. So, I may be doing that also with white. 
but you may not be able to see, so that's why I'm drawing that over here. Okay, like that. So, let's draw some water. And then some small bubbles. Okay, now let's take green or blue green and color the, the plants. Maybe I'm going to add some texture to this also. I'm going to add some lines inside this. So let's <clears throat> color inside the lines. Try and stay within the lines. Almost there. We are almost done with coloring the underwater plants. Okay, now I'm going to take black and lightly color this narwhal lightly with the black if you uh, press too hard what's going to happen it's going to look black we want it to look gray Also, okay. So now we are ready to color with the watercolor. So I'm going to take the watercolor. And there is one part I missed coloring with the crayon. We need to wake our colors. We are only using blue, so I'm going to add only water in blue. A few drops of water in blue. Now I'm going to tickle my blue and wake up my blue. Come on, get up. Okay, so I think I just wide awake. 
I'm going to start painting from the top. So each time my brush is dry, what should I do? Dip it in water. I'm going to spread this paint. Dip in water, dip in, dip in water, dip in paint and then paint. Spread the paint. We don't want pools of paint. Well, paint pooling in some places, so we'll spread it out. Paint, water, paint, I'm just painting uh, with a little bit of water on top of narwhal, okay? Anyway, there was some blue on my brush, right? So I didn't add much. I don't want the uh, narwhal to turn blue. It can be light blue because it's underwater. Paint, water, paint. See that your brush is never dry. Water. Let's pull this excess paint. Paint. No, water paint. Water paint. We are almost there. Water paint. We are done painting. So I'm going to wash my brush. It's like sweeping the floor of the container. Leave it over here. Leave the palette open for it to dry. And then um, once you are done uh, with this, like when it is dry, I want you guys to take a picture, upload it to CISO or Clever or whatever your class use. And I want you guys to email me your finished work also. I would like to see how this turned out for you. And then before you go, take a look uh, on how we can save our fellow earthlings from getting endangered or extinct. Okay, how we can uh, create a better world. So till we meet next time. Bye bye.